All right, so if you can see this right here, I modded it. This is the piece that was on the original fan. Here's the original fan. So you see how it had it just connected right there. So I just cut it off and then cut the ones from the new fan. Which, this is what the new fan looks like. So as you can see here, the silver wire, it's got three just like the other one. Except they're not labeled, so you have to play with them. I'll show you the diagram um, that I drew, <laughs> just so I can remember, because this took me at least three hours to figure out, switching the wires back and forth, back and forth. Um, so I'll post the diagram below. Pretty much, uh, it's all mixed up, so it's not even it doesn't even make sense. It's not just matching them up together, um, obviously, because there's no color on the silver ones. So I'll post the. Uh, little diagram I drew below and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done for those of you who love Fallout I love Fallout as well I'm listening to it in the background while my PS3 is on I got this little thing at Home Depot. This thing is totally beast. Comes with like all the sizes, and it was only like four bucks. Husky. This is a brand of it. Don't forget the heat sink. Screws. You gotta take these. You gotta take off the screws. You don't have to actually take them off. I actually have another Mac like this that I just opened. That's on my in the other room. It does not have this heat uh, resistant tape or whatever the hell it is right here. Conductor tape. Um, it doesn't have it holding on. So when I remove the screws, the heat sink actually came off. So if you have this, all you need to do is just make sure you take the screws off. If you don't have this, you don't have to worry about it because when you take these screws off, this little piece is just going to come off. So on this one, I just took off the screws and removed the whole hard drive. In this case, you saw I just put it back in. So. All right. So now I got to rotate it back. So you always want to do it because you have to connect this piece right here. You have to match it up with this right here. There's a connector right here. So you just bring up that, that connector towards you. And just make sure the wires are not pressing against it. And then close it. For those of you looking for a airport card, I actually picked mine up on Craigslist, so before you order, um, this thing is like $40, $35 to $40 on Amazon. Uh, you might want to check Craigslist because I got it off this guy for $10, bucks. yes, $10. And it's the airport card that works on all iMac G4s, um, iBooks also, so the guy was selling it for an iBook and I bought it off of him uh, for $10, bucks. so check Craigslist all the time. Because a lot of people sell this and a lot of people don't even care because it's old so they'll just give it to you for free or something like 10 bucks by the way this is a um, 800 megahertz processor with um, the Philips um, 800 processor megahertz processor with like the sucky hard drive and the sucky RAM which I'm about to upgrade I'm just waiting for everything to come in the mail but I couldn't wait so I went to Tiger Direct or Comp USA, whatever the hell it's called. And that's where I bought these LED fans. Because I was like, I haven't seen any YouTube videos with people doing these LED fans. So I figured I'd be the first. And if I'm not the first, then I'll be the second or third. Um, 
to install this LED fan. And this LED fan, if you get a blue one, it's $7.99. The red one and the green one cost me $9.99, which is still pretty good. Hold on. Alright, here we go. You can't tell me that it's not totally beast. So I bought, this is the green one that I bought. See it? Nice and green. Fan works. Again, this cost, this like, this is something that seems so easy. Uh, but uh, it's a pain in the ass because you have to mod it. You have to cut the connector from the original uh, fan and install it uh, with wire, obviously wiring to the new one. Which totally sucks, but if you want to get this cool thing, I mean, uh, this cool mod, then uh, it's definitely worth it. So I was up all night yesterday trying to figure it out. I finally got it this morning. Uh, but again, here is the modded G4 iMac uh, lampshade flat panel, whatever everyone wants to call it, uh, with the green. So uh, if you like it, comment below, favorite, subscribe. I'll be making a lot more videos.